Hey everybody, this is Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to talk with you about forms and all the components that you can put inside of forms. So first of all, there are two ways that you can start a form in your new project. The first is taking this form element from the left and dragging in an entire default form that just comes pre-populated with a toggle, a radio, and input. You know, you can delete whatever you don't need, move things around, whatever you need to do. The second is we made it a lot easier to add forms in this new version by allowing you to drag any form component onto the page and we'll automatically create that form parent for you. So let's drag a checkbox onto the screen. And as you can see, we have a checkbox and the parent form automatically exists. Now on this parent form, we have an action and a method. Now these are straight links to the HTML that are gonna be giving that action URL or the methods such as get or post. You know, these are kind of programmery things. Um, if you don't, if you're doing something in JavaScript uh, with this form instead of actually submitting to a page, you know, you can leave this stuff blank. We just wanted something there for you in case you wanted to actually post to a URL or something like that. So let's start off with by going through every component that you can add to a form, starting out with this checkbox. So this checkbox here, you can add a title here. So you could do, you know, uh, you want extra cheese on your pizza. And name, name is an internal thing you use for the form. So when you submit this form, uh, name could be, uh, you know, toppings or, you know what, let's name this cheese. And cheese would either be set to true or false, depending on whether or not that checkbox is actually checked. So as we can see, if we preview this, we have that checkbox capability right there. We can turn it on, we can turn it off. Now, next up, we have our standard input. And this input can be given a title. That's what shows up on the left here. So name your pizza. And then we have a lot of different types. So we start off with text, but you can also put a password, email, phone number, number, date, month. And the difference between these, especially like email, phone number, things like that, is that we're going to bring up the corresponding keyboard on the phone for that email. So the email will have the at symbol and dot com and buttons like that really handy for you to use. Uh, placeholder just puts whatever's there if there's nothing. So you can put, you know, uh, we'll just do nothing and see how that's a little placeholder text that you can put in there. And yet again, the name is the internal form value that you're associating with this input. Next up, let's talk a little bit about radio buttons. So radio buttons are interesting because you probably are gonna use that name attribute when you're making them. So let's just say you wanted radios for all the different toppings on your pizza. You know, we will have pepperoni and we're gonna name this toppings. And that's important because we're gonna duplicate this two more times and we'll change pepperoni to sausage and we'll change this third one to mushrooms and all three of them have that toppings name, which means that when we preview our app, only one of them is going to be selected at a time. And we took care of that for you because you named them all toppings. Now let's move on to the range component. So this range component, uh, you can give yet again a title, the name, yet again the form name. You can give it a minimum value, a maximum value, the current value. And you can also change the style, which is just the color of this bar. So right now it's a positive color. You can change it to red by switching it to assertive. The next element I want to talk about is the search component. Now what's important to note is all of these uh, components here, they don't actually do anything. So we're not creating a form that is fully functional for you. You're going to have to wire up this form to something in the back end. So the search component will not automatically search anything for you. It's just a styled component that we put a little search icon here to make it look a little bit different than input. So really, this is just an input field that's styled slightly different because we added this search icon for you. Now, the next one I want to talk about is the select component. So the select component, yet again, you can give that a title. So here you could pick a uh, size maybe. You could name that size. And then options now you can add here. So we could do small, and then we could add an option for medium, and then we could add an option for large. And then when you preview that, right now it's gonna use this default thing because we're in the browser. When you're on your phone, it'll bring up your browser's default select. So we change this to medium, we see that updates to medium. Uh, the next one I want to talk a little bit about is text area. So a text area is essentially just a multi-line input field. So yet again, title, name, placeholder, default value. And then when we check that out here, we see that we have the ability to type multiple lines in this. Now here, let's clear out some of this stuff. 
Uh, and then the last one we're going to show you is toggle. The toggle, yet again, you can add a title, you can name that for your form, you can change the style of it and default it to checked. So let's default that to checked. You can see our style is currently positive. Yet again, if we want to change that to red, we can switch it over to assertive. So right now, that's all the form components we have available to you off the bat. It's also important to note that really this form outer level element is just a fancy list. Okay, all it is is a list that we added the action and the method parameter to, and it uses the form HTML tag in your export. So if you wanted to add a list divider directly in your form or list items, list item with thumbnails, whatever you want, you can add any list items you want to this form as well. And really, that's all there is to forms today, so I will see you next time.